at my gun shop the other day and I just so happened to see one of these clear Glock 17 magazines and I've always wanted to get one so I went ahead and got it. It was only I think $17 or something like that and it's pretty cheap for a 17 round Glock 17 mag so I went ahead and bought it and I took it shooting last weekend to test it for reliability and the first mag worked fine and the second mag worked fine except for one minor issue there was a gap in here which the spring didn't allow one of the rounds to seat down in right so I was only able to get 16 into it but after that happened I still ran it my Glock 17 and it still shot all 16 bullets fine and then I shot two or three more megs after that and that issue never arose again so my experience with it it worked fine just that one little hiccup which corrected itself later on so yeah it's a great great mag I love the way it looks and I'm very happy with it and performed fine except for that one little hiccup and it's by Elite Tactical Systems is the company go ahead and show you their listings here this is their website Elite Tactical Systems they make magazines for all kinds of different platforms they got AR mags they got Glock mags all kinds of stuff and this is what they're listing their price for on their website them being the manufacturer 1699 and this is the one I'm using they make it for pretty much every Glock that's on the market they have a magazine for so I mean anybody can get it for any caliber any generation any style it, it should work and I guess the color for that one is considered gray smoke and this is where I bought it at at my local gun store Armageddon Arms right here and they have it listed for $16.95 so it's actually five cents cheaper than the manufacturer if you guys are interested in this my local gun store has a website online where you could buy it and have it shipped to you and I bought it in person at the store obviously but yeah they ship all around the country and they have great prices on ammo and just anything you're looking for so I just wanted to give them a shout out they've been nothing but good to me that's where I got my Ruger GP100 357 Magnum so yeah and yeah that's five cents cheaper than the manufacturer which is surprising but it's a great deal and so far it's been nothing but reliable except for that one minor hiccup so I'm back on the manufacturer's website I just kind of wanted to show you guys what other colors and styles I have so here's the same egg except in blue and then they also have clear like I showed you already and they got this color coding system you can change the feed lip color the part that drops down and see they got green yellow, blue, and red, so you can know what magazine is for what, and they also got extended magazines, I believe they hold 31 rounds, extended 40 round capacity, oh wow, that's a 40 rounder, okay, the one I was looking at a minute ago said 31 or something like that, so that's cool, I'm actually going to have to look into getting that. I have two extended magazines for my Glock 17 right now, which are both made by KCI, I believe, and they hold 33 rounds just like the standard Glock magazines do. But yeah, they got all kinds of magazines on here, so anything you need, they should have it. See, they got that, it's kind of an orange color. So this is the 31 rounder right here. for Glock 17, 18, 19, 26, 34, 45, and that one is $21.99, and it holds 31 rounds. So I just kind of wanted to show you all the stuff that they got. I'm going to have to buy myself one of those 40 round mags. It's pretty cool. 
Alright, I'll show you guys some footage of me shooting this thing. That's my basic hands-on review for this ETS Glock magazine. I recommend it at its price point. It looks great. I love the look of it. I didn't have any failures to feed, any misfires, nothing like that. Like I said, the only issue was the spring didn't let the bullets drop in right, and one of them didn't drop into its slot, allowing me to only load 16 rounds into the mag. But I loaded that mag with that malfunction and all 16 rounds still fired. So, and like I said before, after that happened, it didn't happen again. So, one out of five mags that happened and it still wasn't even that big of a deal. So, yeah, I would definitely check these out. And I'm considering buying one of those 40 rounders for, what, $22? So, I'll probably make a review on that one too. So,. Thanks for uh, watching my video and supporting my channel. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Have yourselves a good rest of your weekend and stay safe.